Well, clearly becoming my southern correspondent now these days, especially anything doing Port Aaron, although you did go to Castown, Pamela Crow. Excellent and exciting trip for me. How, and did, how did it go, Lawn House? It was wonderful. A, the most enjoyable evening. And so many people rang after they'd seen the piece on Manx TV. Yeah. So I was really, really pleased <laughs> about that. And it was just an enjoyable evening. And the Manx saxophone ensemble, they were just terrific. Okay. Mm. Well, never, you see, the way MTTV works is people obviously have to contact, well, I don't always, but they, that's what, how it normally works out. And Pam's very good at coming on to me. So, you know, 80 to 100,000 unique views a month. I think it's called nagging, actually. <laughs> However. But, and this time last year, probably one of the only sunny days we've got last oh. year, we, we talked about your uh, secret or hidden gardens of, of Port End. Do you want to, yeah, yeah. I'll hold it up to the camera there on that, that one. So it's back on. And that was a success last year, wasn't it? Well, it was wonderful because, as you say, I think it was the only decent weekend that we had, or it seemed to be. Yeah. And everyone walking around Port Erin was reading a brochure. We, we estimated that we had nearly 2,000 people here over the weekend. It was just wonderful and raised so much for the equipment that we need so desperately for St John Ambulance. So it was a, an excellent idea. People didn't mind paying two pounds per person to go around ten gardens. I mean, a lot of people didn't get round them all. Now, as a result of last year's success, people kept coming to me and saying, "Oh, have you seen my neighbour's garden?" Or have you? And so now we've got all new gardens practically. There are. I think this year there are three that have been requested yeah. to be open by popular request um, because people wanted to see them at a different time of year. Now the garden we're actually sitting in, Paul, Beautiful. I remember this five years ago, it was a builder's scrapyard. Oh, right. This was piles of slates, soil pipes. Anything you can think yeah, of, all piled up in heaps all around here. So it's had some lovely TLC here then, hasn't it? Well, I don't know about TLC. I should think the hard work would be... I ju it is just beautiful. I mean, it's hard to believe a transformation. And we have another garden similar that's been transformed. Then we have two gardens that are completely opposite. One with a balcony almost suspended over Port Erin Bay. And an indoor swimming pool. And obviously we're not showing them because we want people to come round. Well, you certainly are trying to uh, get these sold because the fact is this has got the master plan inside, hasn't it? I don't, I don't just, just show it to the cameras. This, but... this has the master plan. <laughs> yes, I just hope. And, and actually you do need it because we have one little garden mm -hmm. that's in the pony fields and really it's quite a maze to find there. So please persist to find it. It's very worthwhile seeing. How do people get hold of these? They're for sale in the Whistle Stop Cafe, Port Arin Pet Shop, Bridge Bookshop, Trend, the shops around Port Arin. They'll be on sale on both days at the railway station. And the two days, it's this weekend coming, isn't this it? This weekend coming. What, from what times? Well, 11 o'clock-ish till 5, although I, we said that last year and people said, oh, well, there'll be no one here at 11. And actually, there were people queuing outside this garden to come in. <laughs> there were pictures of people. Everyone, everyone in Port Erin last year was holding one of these... Well, they yes. literally there was everyone yes, looking around. Yes, it was right. amazing. It right. well, really was. Right, wish you well again. Again. Thank you, and Paul, so much. And thank you for being so helpful. Oh. Because for charities, it is important to, to spread the word. And it's a wonderful way of doing it. Thank you, Pam. So raising funds for the equipment that we need for St John Ambulance is a very worthwhile cause. And two pounds <laughs> to see Can't stop it now. for two days is just wonderful. <laughs> and if uh, it's always a way, if you, the number that comes up at the end of all the videos, if we can try and help, we will. Obviously, there's just time and pressure on how many things we can cover. But as you see, this is how Pam does it, and it gets results. It does. Thank you.